Yeah. All right, y'all. So here we have a uh, 2006 Hyundai Sonata. So this is the Hyundai. And then it's a Sonata, but it doesn't have the emblems on it. So on this one, we're going to be doing a fuel pump. So it's really quite simple. So the fuel pump is going to be under the carpet here, behind the seat, right here. So, so far, what you're going to need is a flathead and a uh, cross screwdriver. Flathead and a cross. Simple, see? That's a flathead right there, and that's a cross. So it's Phillips and um, a screwdriver. So you're just gonna pop this off. This is gonna be right under there. After this, you're gonna see a lot of clips. So let me get all these off so you can see the clips. All right, so. We got a couple of little things to unplug here. So we have uh, this one here. Let me get the screwdriver. So you're probably gonna be you're probably gonna need uh some help. So see there's a clip right here. It, it has clips guys, so if you can just push down the clips and get a screwdriver to help you pry on the on the on the clip. On the on the uh, plug, help you pry on it. Be very careful. Try not to break the clips. And this one as well. It has a clip here. You pull up and you push back. Might be a little corroded on there, but there it is. Once you get those two clips out, try to blow it. You see a lot of dirt, guys. Use some water. Use something to uh, scrape all this up. You don't want none of this dirt to go inside the... Um, you don't really want none of this to go inside the uh, fuel pump. So try to scrape up as much as you can. This one here. Here's another little plug here. You're gonna have to. These seem to break, but the new one should come with the new one. So these got like two little plugs, clips. You just push them in, and you pull out. This is gonna be replaced too, cause the uh, customer bought this one brand new. So. And then this one here is a little weird too. This one here too. It has the two clips here, here on this side, here on this side. So you push them in and you push out. All right. It smells like gas already. All right. So let me see if I can get this one off because she bought this one by new. But all right. So once you got this off, this hose here. I think this is the return line. Or right, this is our feed and then the uh, connections for the power signal and whatever else goes with this. So it's going to have one, two, two uh, hoses here where gas runs. I'm pretty sure one's a return. This is a return and this is the, the send. And then it's got a, a plug here, which is the uh, power, the negative or whatever to get the fuel pump working. And then this is just a sensor which is probably important too. I'm not sure what sensor is it, but I know it's two plugs, two connections, and two um, hoses that make the fuel run. So after that, guys, 
what I want to like to do is just scrape up a lot of this uh, dirt because you know there's always going to be a little dirt down here because it's under the car so just try to scrape up a little bit let me see what I can do alright so maybe throw a little bit of water Just to blow, get rid of all the dust, a lot of dirt. <laughs> Let that run off. It's not gonna go in the vehicle. So once you wash that a little bit of water, you don't have to. If you got, if you got access to uh, a, a, a blower, you can just blow it out the way. I just want to just put water on this so it can help get that all out the way, and then just grab a rag, guys, and just clean around it. Cause you don't want none of that dirt to go inside the fuel. The you just try to scrub around it get your little brush you get your clean rag and then just just try to clean around it guys just try to get the dirt off any way you can if you want to you can do it if you don't just get the job done and do what you gotta do and move on to the next one but I try to do my job right, you know. So you don't have to get on top of the fuel pump because that fuel pump we're gonna be replacing. Just try to clean that around the tank. So when you know when you put the new one on, it's gonna be nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Nice and clean for the customer. Check that out. Pull that out. That way. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So now that we got this somewhat clean, we'll get another cleaning after we get the fuel pump out. Let's get to work. All right. So, so guys, I'm asking y'all for a big favor. I'm uh I'm making these videos for y'all so y'all don't have to pay nobody to do this kind of work because if I can do it you could do it I believe in you uh, so if you can please like the video share the video subscribe because um, I probably have uh, more videos for you to fix your vehicle so that'll be sure to appreciate it all right so next it's um you're gonna need the flathead screwdriver and a hammer guys this is all faithful here she's all beat up but she still does a job don't care what no other mechanic says it's my hammer and she's my baby all right so so get here get closer so you're gonna want to put this here i'd rather put it here because it's, it's it's around the ring this ring here it's you gotta bang it off and bang it in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it right here at an angle and get your hammer. If you got an air hammer, that'll help too, but I doubt it. So just get your hammer and just and just keep banging till the ring comes apart. I'm right there where it wants to come. Watch it. Watch yourself. Okay. So we're there. So just keep going. Keep going until the ring comes all the way. I'm going to want to probably put it right here. There you go. So it's a ring, guys. You see? You're literally just taking off the ring. And that's the ring right there. And then at that, the fuel pump comes right out. If you got patience and you feel like you can do it, then do it. 
watch one of my videos, or watch anybody's videos, and just do it. Watch the clips, watch yourself, and just wiggle it around. That's all you gotta do, guys, is just wiggle it. Yeah, this fuel pumps out of there. Oh, a little bit of, little bit of gas might fall, but don't be scared. Okay. I probably broke it on the way out, but oh well. It's not working anymore. All right, guys, like I was saying. You know, there's some mechanics out there that don't do this they just hurry up and get the job done and they don't do them none of this i don't care if i'm a bad mechanic a rich mechanic no every car i work on i treat it like if it's my own how i would want my car to be so Take your time, do the job right. So here it is, guys. <clears throat> I'm trying to do the best I can to clean it up. Okay, so here's a oil ring. Here's a, a, a gasket, a oil ring. It goes around here. So once you take the, once you take this ring off you're gonna pull the fuel pump out and right under the fuel pump right on top of this uh, right under the fuel pump is gonna be this oil ring here it's a big oil ring it goes it goes right on top of the uh, it goes right here let me clean it up put it on there for y'all so I can see, I can see where it exactly goes because if the old the new one didn't come with them I have to use it again these do go bad if gas touches it, because it'll, it'll stretch the, uh, it'll expand the uh, rubber, but not that easy, not 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 too easy. They don't go out bad. They don't go out bad that easy. So this ring here, guys, goes right here. It goes right on top of there, just like that. Then the fuel pump, and then your your uh, lock. Uh, your lock is the lock, the key, the little uh, lock to, the locks the fuel pump in place. <sighs> all right, so I'm pretty sure we got all that brand new. So that's gotta go if it's brand new, but let me check and make sure. All right. So uh, I think this is the brand. Trusted, reliable, reliable quality uh, fuel pump, and then I, I'm guessing this is the part number, guys. And then um, this person bought this online. There it is. That's a better. That's a better compared to the old one. All right, guys. So here's the fuel pump. Obviously, it looks alike. Here's a fuel filter. Here's a fuel filter. Everything looks just alike. So, you still gotta assemble it. You gotta uh, put the um, the fuel, the uh, the, the uh, floaty, connect the floaty. So it's pretty simple, guys. Once you get it from being right here. Oh, <laughs> whoa! All right. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put it right here. Put it in the hole. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. So push right down in in the hole, guys. There it is. It's simple. That's your floaty. Be very careful when you put this piece back in the tank. And then it came with this hose here, which is like the feed or the return. And then yes, guys, it did come with a new gasket. So. We're gonna be using a new gasket. All right, all right. 
So this one here is gonna go here. So when you put it on, it'll go here. So you put it on like that. Let's get it in. So make sure your floaty, it's on right. It'll clip on. It's got three clips here and a little hole. So you put it in the hole and you clip it down. You just you push right down on the on the on the floaty and the floaty's gonna go up and down like this. This is what tells you how much gas you have left. If you have a full tank, it'll be like this. If you have a half a tank, it'll be in the middle. If you have an empty tank, it'll be all the way down. And that's when it tells you on the dash that you have a bad tank. So when you want to put this on, you want to put this in first this way. Then when you get that in, you want to turn it. Then it's going to go in. It's slowly going to fall in place, guys. Don't jam it in. Don't do any of that. Just slowly push it in place. It'll slowly fall in place, guys. You might need to help it just wiggle it, just wiggle it around just a little bit. But it's slowly gonna fall in place just like that. What better than that's that's a good that it just fell in place. You might want to help the oil ring out because she likes to be all over the place. So get the oil ring in the place. Make sure the oil rings around the gas tank. You need that ring. That ring is very important. Tops. That ring needs to be around the gas tank. That's very important, guys. You don't want it to leak any air into your fuel. So, so far, so good. So the fuel pump's gonna go in just like that. So after that, Clean your, oil, your little lock in. I forgot what this is called, guys. It's just a lock. It's like a lock. This is a little lock that holds your fuel pump down in place, so it doesn't come apart. Or it doesn't fall apart. It just holds it in. You want to clean that up too. So. Clean that up. Then you want to get that in there. This doesn't matter how you put it on because they're all the same. So you just want to you want to get it in there. Paranoid man, shit, you gotta watch your back when you're out here working. You never know who the fuck is watching. Okay, so, so what you wanna do is, you wanna, maybe this stuff might be in the way, just be patient. So, it's gonna wanna come straight down. Let me make sure it's right, man. I'm doing something wrong, so let me go. Over. Let me check the right quick. Little uncomfortable. Just get comfortable, guys. Okay. be a little tough to get down but you got it so get your little ring back on no it seems a little complicated guys but just get the ring back on there make sure your rings down there right it's gonna be about right there Right there, okay, so you don't want to come straight down after you, you might just want to wiggle it around a little bit. Just being a little feisty. Alright, 
and then you want to get the ring. The ring is what helps you lock it in. Sorry, you can't really see, but. Guys, so once you get it started. So once you get it started, lock it in. So they're going to want to go in these little slots here. This is a little key. This is the lock. Here's the lock, and here's where it goes in. So they all got to fall in place. It's got to fall in place even at the same time. And it's going to lock. It's going to go over this little hump here. And it's going to lock in here. Boom. And so once you get it started from there, guys, it's going to be a little tough. But you got it. You're going to want to get your screwdriver. You're going to want to bang it. Slowly. Slowly but tough, you know? Give it some little nice little bangs. And it's gonna go in place. She should fall in place. Try to stay on the metal. Don't try not to push to the tank. Stay on the metal. Pretty tough, but you got it. If you can try to get you some better leverage. Just try to stay away from the little, try to stay away from this guys. Just be very careful and gentle. So it's eventually gonna pop over that hump and then you're, it's a bust. Be very careful. Let me get, I might need to go back in it. So this is what you want to do guys, you want to clip, get it right here, get you a better leverage from back here. See? You see? You see how it's going into this slot? It's got one, two, three, four, five. So all of them got to sit even down, and then it's got to go over this little hump here. Got a little dirt there, but it's got to go over this little hump here, and then it's going to fall in this little slot. Once this here gets over this hump, and falls in this slot, you're good. So just stay on this one here. Boom. There it is, guys. She's in place. The seal's in place. The fuel pump's in place. The lock locks the fuel pump in place. You're good to go. Try to keep these on. These go over here. There's two of them. Try to keep them on. One fell off, but if you can try to keep them on just so the trash doesn't get in it, then you're good to go. Take them off when you're done. See, this one's different. You see? That's why it came with a new one, because it's different. See, this the old one had a, a plug coming up. This one has a plug coming in sideways like this. We're not going to use this one. We got a new one, so we got to pop this one off. It's already falling apart anyways. And then this one here, I'm, I'm going to have to show you something right now. Let me go ahead and go grab it. And we'll be good to go. So on the old one guys, it doesn't come with this one. It, does, it, it doesn't come with this clip here. So you're gonna have to slowly, gentle, pop it off. Maybe a screwdriver would help. Let me try to get it done without the screwdriver. Pop it off. Boom, the way you popped it off, it goes on like this, not like this. It goes on like this, and the new one you're gonna pop it back in because you're gonna use that one. You see the difference here? This one comes up, the other one comes sideways because this is an OEM fuel pump. So yeah, it's bound to go out. That don't last that long. It's not gonna go here, it's gonna go in the back. So you're gonna wanna, simple guys, this is real simple. You're gonna wanna, okay. All you gotta do is just, just adjust this to where you see it needs to go. Boom. And you just pull back, not too hard, just pull back and make sure it doesn't fall back out. Boom, good on that part. So now we gotta take this one off here. Be careful, don't break the nipple off. It's got a it's got a little lock here, you gotta figure out how to take it off. And uh, most likely it's gonna ay, wait. Most likely it's gonna be the same as this. Easy peasy. One second, let me help you out. Alright, so here it is. We took off the old one. 
And here's the new one. You see it's got different style? It's a different shape all the way around because the fuel pump's aftermarket. So it doesn't matter. As long as it comes with new parts, then you can replace the old parts. And this is the one that was here like this to this one back here. And the same thing, guys. You just push these two clamps, this one here and this one here. You push them in and you pull out. So these are two old parts. And then these little, these little locks here, they seem to break when you take them off. So don't worry about them, guys. Just find a way to take them off. And you don't need them because it has this one has its own little locks and they're brand new and they're gonna they're gonna work just fine so um, let's uh, figure out how this goes now so I'm pretty sure it goes in like this because these are here guys all you gotta do is just clamp them in here get on this side so you can see you see this nipple here it's gonna go like this this is gonna bend it's gonna bend because it's just gonna have to bend okay so it's gonna go in here just wiggle it around till you feel it going right boom push it in Push back, pull back out, make sure it doesn't come back off. Tuck this piece in. Boom. That's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be, guys. You pull back, make sure it doesn't pop off. Boom. There we go. We're done with the fuel pump. So if you got this far, I'm good. You're good. Pat on the back. A little dust here and there this one here it's gonna go on this one here the way you take it off is the way you put it back on and now the easy part you just clip it all on this one here it's gonna go on this one here common sense sorry guys pop it in Sorry about the dust. You want to pull back on the plug, make sure it doesn't come back off. So you want to push it in until you hear a clip. Sometimes it'll clip, sometimes it don't. There it is. Whole pump is ready back together. Here's a little shield. And then it's got four screws all the way around. I got a little electric impact, but I don't want to use that. Those are for the big jobs. This is a piece of cake. Been here, done it. I'm just helping the people out. Get your little screwdriver. Whatever brand you got. As long as it's a good one. I got a little bit of everything. I got Husky. I got Craftsman. I got Snap-on. I got Mako. I got Pittsburgh. I got all kinds of tools guys but the main ones are put up for a future future shot there it is guys boom She's all back together and there it is I did it in a mile uh, what less than one hour all right, y'all, so if this video helps out in any way, give it a like, share it, comment, subscribe. Um, don't hate, guys. I'm just like anybody else. I'm just trying to make it. And all y'all haters, shit, hey, you're just going to have to deal with it because I ain't going nowhere. I'll see you on the next one.